<laughs> you see that? Hey everyone and welcome back. So I'm in the woods back here behind my house again, Coconino National Forest. And the reason that I'm back here on the Trail 125 today is because I only recently learned that there is a single track trail back here that is open to both mountain bike and motorized vehicle. So I can take the Trail 125 on this particular uh, route and I have never ridden single track before uh, on a motorized vehicle so I'm very excited to go check this out uh, and just see what kind of fun we can have. So these are the same trails that I was on uh, just a few days ago. They probably look very familiar. Um, but again, that's not what we're out here for. We are out here to explore the single track. And so I'm just trying to get to it, um, find it. I'm a little bit lost already back here, but I do have my phone with me today. I, I have a new mount uh, on my trail here, as you can see, got a quad lock mount for it. And I am just trying to find this trailhead. Uh, it, it is labeled on the Gaia maps, and so I just got to get to the trail, and and then we can have all sorts of uh, fun, in theory. I mean, if you think about it, the very name of this bike is the Trail 125, so I feel like we need to take her on some true, legitimate single-track trails. Plus, as I said, I've never really taken a, a motorcycle on on legitimate single track before. I guess there was a couple sections down on that Crooked Raven route that you could argue were single track, but this is an actual published single track trail that uh, and motorcycles are allowed to uh, travel on. So that's what we're gonna go explore right now. Oh yeah, I remember coming down this just the other day. It's a little bit gnarly actually. <laughs> I feel like I'm back on the Nazmat routes here, only on a much smaller bike. <laughs> I can give you guys an update on my gas mileage. So I finally put gas in the bike uh, and it took 0.9 gallons and I was at 112 miles. So to me that indicates about 120 miles per gallon. Not too shabby, if you ask me. If I'm just taking her easy riding her around town, I should be able to get 140 to 150 miles on a tank. Oh man, this is just like a, a sandy nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh, she's bogging down. She's bogging down, Captain. There she goes. Woo, too much sand. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> the bike wasn't even moving back there. It was completely bogged down in the sand. I'm glad I didn't try to take the Himalayan down this road. This is the road that uh, has always been really sandy. The one that I wiped out on the Himalayan on. There's the trail just up there. We're going to just keep going and see if we can find it. <laughs> Assuming we can still make progress on this road. Goodness. It's just, it's this, this, I mean, you can see my steering. It's, it's all over the place. The nice thing though, is this bike is so light that, you know, I'm not stressing about it. I'm just, oh man, look at that sand. On the, oh, here we go. We're getting into it. Oh, oh, she's bogging down. Just bogging down. There we go. Just gotta keep that speed up. Oh man. All right. Wow, this road sucks. I'm gonna go up here because it's gotta be better than that. <laughs> oh, that's so much nicer. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> is this our trail? I think this is the trail right here. And it's not looking very promising. Oh man, no, I do see a trail. Right here it says to trail. 
Oh yeah, look at that. This trail is open to motorized vehicles. Oh, that looks pretty nasty though. I don't know if I wanna try and go up that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's pretty nasty. Um, hmm. I'm definitely gonna bottom out if I try to go up that. Let's see, can I go over here? Kind of go through the woods a little bit. Ooh, she was definitely bogging down. All right, hey, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, we're on single track, baby. <laughs> this is cool, man. Oh dear. I can feel those anti lock brakes kicking in. It's kind of annoying. Well, I'm definitely on the trail. So you can see that right there. <laughs> oh, oh man, she's sliding all over. Probably not the best tires for this trail. Oh, <laughs> I gotta admit, this is pretty fun. It's basically like I'm on a mountain bike, even though I'm not. <laughs> it's kind of just a big glorified mountain bike, you know? It does say open to motorcycles. <laughs> oh man, it's just sand. So much sand. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool though. Even if it is just sand. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely dirt bike tracks. Definitely. That's pretty cool. I had no idea this existed and uh, that it was accessible to dirt bikes. I would have just assumed it was for mountain bikes only. Because most of the trails here are not for motorized vehicles. But it's cool to know that there are a few. So thank you, Steve, for telling me about this trail. This is my first time on legit single track. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> Woohoo! Take the feeder trail out. Back to the main road. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that. Good times. All right. Well, I had my fill of single track for today. It's time to get home. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough for me. I'm good. <laughs> Super fun. My, my shoes are so full of sand right now. I do love this bike. It is so much fun. Oh. That was wild. Oh my God, look at my socks. <laughs> that is so wild. You guys can see here, I've got my spare fuel canister and a small little satchel bag in there for groceries and such, and that's pretty much it. That's my setup. I'm sticking to it. Oh, that breeze feels nice. It is definitely a warm out today. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this little CT125 teaser. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those trails. Take care, be safe, and I will see you in the next video.